Hello everybody. So today we have uh, uh, interesting thing and it should be simple to do but uh, let's see how we can do it. So I prepared a lot of stuff here uh, and what we have to do is to test this compressor. So this compressor was sent back by a customer saying uh, he connected it to everything and it's not working, it's not starting. So we made a claim to the manufacturer. Actually, this one is bought from Kelly, but it's a Benlink compressor, 24 volt DC, and it's a three-step compressor. So you can select the speed, and um, also these compressors are available in PVM control. But this is three steps, so um, for us it's easier to test it. I don't think I have something to simulate PVM if we had one of those. But anyway, what we need to do is uh, connect the compressor to the batteries and we have to make a shunt here and uh, we will get to that. So first, yeah, I'm using a 100 amps fuse. And I still need something to connect it here to the battery. So I have this cable from some other video, but it's too long. So this one for us is too long. I don't know how many meters, maybe three, four. So we will just need a piece of it. And yeah, you can see the <laughs> difference on the gauge of the wire what the compressor has and what we have but uh, I think for testing it should be enough so we will just uh, put on a terminal on this one also because it's a little bit nicer to work like that hopefully you can see on the recording it's really hard to put this uh, tripod anywhere because I don't know why the, the phone is filming with such a high zoom than uh, the GoPro and I don't want to zoom out digitally because then yeah probably the video will suffer a little bit on the quality so yeah we will just put a terminal nothing complicated and I do have this kind of wires here prepared for any kind of shunt <laughs> if needed in some cases yeah we have uh, male female connectors whatever okay so now let's uh, let's find the right tool to tighten that screw it should be eight millimeters yeah, it's an 8 millimeter and we will just try to connect it here hopefully you can see it yeah and on the other side side of the fuse we will put the cable that we made okay so hopefully these two batteries will be enough the compressor is uh, exactly the same I have another video I will put it here for you to see yeah and uh, it's exactly the same compressor however it's not from a unit like that but the thing is it's really high current consumption and the guys who bought it are using it for AC for campers. Yeah, so they're using the lowest speed of the compressor, which is the lowest power consumption. They have big batteries. Yeah, you know, it is what it is. And they're using it, like I said, for stationary AC. 
So let's, ah, I don't have connect the batteries yet. So I have to connect the two batteries together. And I have something like this. This is fast terminals for the batteries. All right, so let's do a short. Man, and it does, what's this? So now we don't have the spark. <laughs> Could be that the fuse is done. Hmm? Well, it's interesting. Let me bring a, a multimeter. It could be. It could be that our test was this short. Now, why even bother making the video? So let's see, we will put in diode mode, let's check. No, the fuse is still good. Alright, so maybe it has some kind of capacitors inside for starting and those were maybe discharged and now it took the... Alright, let's do this. So now everything's fine. Should we check if the compressor is pulling some current? Yeah, let's do that. Well, I don't have all my tools. I try to have everything here, but looks like there's always something. Alright, so 20 amps should be enough, uh, 0, let's put it to DC amps, alright, and it is 0. So now I ask you for the testing, if there is any chance for the compressor to start, I think I should take down the plug from the high pressure port and this is 8 also yeah 8 millimeters all right let's take this down i uh, normally it should not make pressure because we have a plug on the suction also yeah so that will go into vacuum but look at this we do have some pressure here. And it could be that this is a refrigerant that stayed in the oil. All right, so this is why I should wear goggles for this. Yeah. You never, I never learn. So inside it looks clean. Yeah, let's, we will put this here in case of anything. I don't want to get oil everywhere on my stuff here so we have the amp meter which is zero i don't know how to put it and this is what the guys from calories warranty department are wanting me to do okay so we have here uh i'm sorry i for mistake i printed it on a paper that was already in the printer uh, this is, there's nothing we can do now i didn't print another one because we have all the information here so this is a 24 volt dc compressor which means first speed is 820 watts 100 and uh, uh, 1500 and uh, 2000 watts roughly uh, on the speed on depending on the speed selected and we have here how to modify the speeds yeah so pin 2 with 1 is first speed 2 4 second 2 3 so we will i would check on first speed so we have here pin 1 2 3 so 
here is the connector let's see so pin 2 is black yeah so black with any other with any other one should start the compressor so let's say pin 2 with one okay so we should uh, red with black yeah now this is a little bit harder to do than i would like to so let's see how can we touch those two wires do we have something i i prepared some wires but maybe it's easier to touch with something else i have a very fine clipper somewhere Let, let's check yeah you can never have everything here is there a way that we can remove the pins could be do they come out without that no, i don't think so i think you still need an extra tool even if you take out that thingy okay so i will hold the compressor and and nothing happens one with two nothing happens yeah i'm pretty sure it, sure they tried also in the workshop this one with with whatever it doesn't start yeah so the compressor is gone just to be sure i also want to see if i have connection on this thingy yeah. Yes, we should have the connection, but just to be sure, let's also try it with a piece of wire. I do have a tool for this. Fortunately, it's home for stripping wires. But for what we need here, this should be also fine. So I don't really have any doubts now. We should have we should have seen something even on one speed. Nothing. So the two terminals are touched and nothing's happening. Yeah, so I guess uh, this is pretty much it. Man, do I... Uh... I don't think... I can prepare for any everything. I still want to be 100% sure. And you see I'm not even disconnecting it from the battery. I will try to take this terminal out anyway. Let's see. And it's moving. It has a little thingy here inside, a little plastic thingy that's holding the the pins so for speed now we have the connection 100 percent amp meter is there zero uh, we will measure the voltage yeah not like that <laughs> let's put it to yeah uh, we have 25 volts we have 25 volts here after the fuse 
we have the two cables connected and nothing's happening yeah so i will do i will say this is it there's nothing we can do here for us because uh, there is a pcb inside here that's uh, usually the problem we had some problems before with these compressors and um, we have another supplier for these compressors they are supplying uh, pvm compressors to us and they have a spare part for this they have the whole electronics and you can change it but from here from calorie they do not supply the electronics without uh, just the electronics so it's a pity because now you have to change the compressor yeah what can you do i'm pretty sure belling or uh, the one who makes the compressor can sell this uh, part separately for us it's not worth contacting Benling. I did contact them once for some technical support, they helped me, but just to buy one piece of this, I mean, come on, it's a, it's a hassle for, for them, for us, and uh, my belief is that who is uh, importing this compressor should also import the spare part, the electronics inside, because usually that's the only thing that goes wrong with these compressors all right so i will stop the video now i will make also a short video for their uh, department and uh yeah see you on the next one so sorry for i'm sorry for this compressor but what can you do yeah okay guys bye